So there was another update for Zero Hour, and I thought that I would check it out. I didn't bother looking at the freaking updates because ain't nobody got time for that. So I hopped into the newest map and do what I always do clear it out. Bullies, get down on your knees. Was saying earlier is like let's check the window to see how many bugs there are and i open the wind i open the blinds and there's like a swarm just hanging out right next to where the lamp is one thing that i noticed about this new map is that it's actually pretty easy a lot easier than the previous maps that i've actually been god damn it i forgot that that was a thing oh no <clears throat> So as I was saying before I was really interrupted, this map is actually fairly easy to do. I actually cleared through it relatively fast and easily. I was actually disappointed and thinking to myself, man, this is it? Usually their maps have like big labyrinths or they're really tough to do. I end up dying a lot because I end up like rushing around to try and disarm a bomb or secure a citizen before he dies. You know, that type of stuff. But this time around, it didn't feel like that. I thought that this was like a bit underwhelming until I realized, huh, why isn't the match ending? I could have sworn that I already cleared out all the levels in this house. There's at least three levels. You got the top floor, which is just the roof, the second floor, and the third floor, which is the one that I'm currently on. But I didn't see anybody. Nobody was really shouting at me. So I was wondering what the hell's going on here. It wasn't until I looked at my objectives and noticed, huh, that's weird. I'm still missing seven suspects. Well, I pretty much searched throughout the entire house. I don't think I actually saw any more. Where the hell are they? Then I thought, well, maybe they probably just wandered outside. So I decided to look outside to see what was going on or see what I could find. I ended up searching around the entire compound and didn't find a trace of any of the suspects. So I decided to go inside the two little shacks around the outside. The first one that I went into didn't have anything. And then I went into this little shack and then decided to go around back towards this little wooden one. And I found a door. Oh. This leads outside of the level. Police! Guns down! Police! Get down on your knees! Wow, there's like a whole back area over here. Went outside that door and I thought, what the hell? This is one big area. I don't remember if you could actually spawn over here. Came down here and I saw, whoa, this is, this is one big drainage pipe right here. Walking through it. Didn't see anybody in there. Then I saw a door. I was like, oh shit. There's an underground tunnel over here. So this is where the name Rat's Den comes from. There's obviously going to be guys in there. Getting up to the door. Try to open it, but it's locked. There's no door stopper at the bottom here. So obviously this thing is locked somehow. This was when I realized, oh my god. They added puzzles to the game. That's like an FPS player's worst nightmare. Freaking puzzles in a tactical shooter game. I thought to myself, am I really going to spend hours trying to figure out this freaking puzzle?
You're damn right I am. Mama didn't raise no bitch. How can I call myself a gamer or a game critic if I can't look at every nook and cranny that's in a game and solve all those secrets that every game provides? I couldn't live with myself. Oh. So that's what I set out to do. I meticulously combed through every nook and cranny that this level had to offer and I couldn't find a single thing that actually resembled a code that would fit this damn door. At this point, I had gone through the building so many times that it literally became muscle memory. I memorized the whole freaking map from top to bottom without going through that tunnel area just yet. I began to get mad. What was I even looking for? Is there an actual code in this level or the devs just freaking screwing with me? There's gotta be something here, right? I'm not just out here doing all this shit for nothing. I needed to know what the hell's behind that goddamn door. Was it the answer to life itself? Why are we here? Is it not just a simulation? How do we even know God exists? Which religion is right? Are you telling me Santa Claus isn't real? Because if he isn't, then I can't really explain why all my presents are filled with coal. Whatever the case, I needed to get through that damn door, but I couldn't find anything. So I decided to just get some help. I asked on their Discord and I looked at the update. And it turns out that getting an actual answer is a bit of a random chance. Either you have to find like a Morse code or a radio or the TV turns on. None of these things that I actually found in this playthrough, so I think something was bugged. So I went through it again. This time around, a radio was playing. They kept repeating numbers, so I tried the numbers. and they weren't working because apparently the numbers are actually in random orders so i'm like oh my god are you kidding me do i have to do do i have to literally sit there and do all sets of 16 and thankfully no there's only four sets but at the same time it's like well shit how am i supposed to know which of the four sets it is so i still have to sit there and do it anyway so i was like okay screw this i'm just gonna restart the game again and this time around i got the code that was on the tv it was the actual code so i just decided to go in and hit the numbers and i finally freaking and got into this damn thing. What a pain in the ass. Police! Get 
And like that, it was over. I could finally leave this godforsaken map knowing that I actually completed it, but that it took about three hours to freaking do because I couldn't find the damn passcode. Apparently this is going to be like a regular theme with these maps and uh, I mean if they're going to do it, I hope that they do it in a way that's not freaking annoying. All enemies have been neutralized. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye. See you on the next one. Bye. Goodbye.